Hey, what's happening guys? We got a solar power bank to look at today. This is from our friends at Banggood. I'd like to thank them for sending this at no cost for our consideration. There is the uh, SKU number for you guys to take a look at. Now this took a while to get here, over a month and a half, and the strange thing is, the box that it came in had an address from Beverly Hills, California, and no um, markings coming from China at all, so I'm not really sure what's going on there. And as you can see from the box, it looks like it was a, uh, a bit of a rough trip. Uh, let's uh, do some measurements here. All right, so there are your metric measurements and imperial measurements. Yeah, this is incredibly light. Let me see something here. Here is a, this is a very small power bank I mean size wise this was a ten dollar job from a family dollar here in town it weighs about the same as the solar power bank now I don't know how well you guys can see here you're gonna focus focus all right one last try Those look like little screw heads, but I think they're just molded into the plastic. And that says what? Power bank, capacity. Can't quite read what it says. Does that say 30,000 milliamp hours? Even though this is an 8 amp hour. 5 volt, 2 amp. Yeah, so we've got two outputs here output one is one amp output two is two amps I think that's our input okay so we'll power it up here I think press the power button and nothing has happened all right let me have a look here Okay, so here's the item on Banggood's webpage. This is the 8,000 milliamp hour solar waterproof portable charger dual USB battery power bank. Um, lists for $12.99 US or 10.1 pounds. 11.22 euros 1766 Australia wow that's kind of expensive and in Canadian dollars well apparently the Canadians are about the same as the Australians it's available in three colors black orange and yellow so several hours later and it would appear by the instructions that the charging is complete. So we'll unplug the charger. Let's see if we can get the light to switch on. It said double press. Yeah. That actually is a pretty nice light. Oh, and there's the SOS function. And then it's off. So what we're going to do now is we will test the outputs. Output 1 is supposed to be good up to 1 amp. So we'll plug her in here. Zoom in so you guys can see. And let's ramp it up to an amp.
There we go, we're getting pretty close. One amp, 4.8 volts. Okay. Now, output two is supposed to be good for up to two amps. So we'll plug her in there. Now, output two at the same voltage you can see is putting out 4.95 volts. So let's see if we can't take her up to two amps. Oh no. At an amp and a half, we're already down 4.2. So, you know, honestly, that's kind of expected. So for the next part of our program, I'm going to set a nice leisurely discharge of about a half an amp. And we'll let this sit here and percolate for the next several hours to discharge this bad boy and find out just what its capacity is. And so many hours later, as you can see, it has shut off. We have drained it dead. So let me unplug it here. And then I'm just gonna plug it into this power bank real quick. So it powers up the screen and we can see the magic numbers. Three, six, six, zero. Well, that's certainly not 8,000, is it? It's less than half. It is actually 0.457. But I think we've come to expect such things from our Chinesium power banks. So I guess the next thing we want to do is see if we can get inside of her. All right, I'm gonna spend a moment off camera trying to find the hidden doorway. Well, that didn't take long. It would appear that it is just clipped together on the solar panel side here. So we should be able to crack our way in. Looks like I got about half of it undone there. Let's get the other half. Yeah, I don't have a proper spudger like Big Clive does, but you know, we make do. Okay, what are we stuck to? Ah, we are stuck to the sticky tape. Okay, so let's zoom in here. And there's our battery, and it is labeled 8,000 milliamp hours, 29.6 watt hours. There's our solar pad. We'll have a look at that here in a moment. Let's see if we can focus in on that chip there. Well, I certainly don't know that chip. What does that say? Hot chip? Mott chip? Yeah, I don't know. Let me, uh, let me get this thing out of here. All right, so this is a hot chip, HT4936S, and I can't find a data sheet for it. The best I can tell is it is a mobile power management system. And this little 8-pin chip over here has had any and all info ablated from it. So it is just an anonymous 8-pin chip. Probably a microcontroller. There is uh, nothing on the back side of this board. That's interesting. That LED is on. I wonder if it is... Uh, that means charging from there. 
How about some super bright light? Can't tell. It's just showing me the one dot. Hmm. All right. What if I delight the situation? Yeah, that that must be the. Yeah, so we I guess we get one dot for solar charging. Interesting. Let me turn the lights back on. So it says 8,000, but we're getting less than half. Tell you what I'm gonna do. I'm going to charge it up one more time and we'll see how much of a charge it takes. I left it charging all night and here we are with a new total. This is the charge it took 10,562 milliamp hours. Now I didn't clear the old reading on there of 3660 so that leaves us with 6902, 6902 milliamp hours which is about what 80 percent or so of 8,000 so that is considerably better than I had originally thought so my overall impressions of this little power bank excellent it's incredibly light the uh, the camping light I guess you would call it is a very nice wide beam of light of course it has the old SOS and the strobe feature um, 1.5 amps out of outlet 1 about 1.8 out of outlet 2 of course it has the solar cells these are the plastic type solar cells you know basically that's simply an afterthought but it will give you some charge not much but some and it comes with a nice carabiner so you could hook this on your backpack say you were out hiking and get some charge that way so all in all I give it a thumbs up 15 bucks um, we'll call it a nominal 7,000 milliamp hours yeah decent all right that's it I'm out peace